Did you guys get any squid today? We got a little bit. Can I get a half a bucket sure. take home? Sure you can. Good, okay. Sal. Sal. How you doing, buddy? Just a half a bucket. I want some real nice fresh stuff. <laughs> Pretty good size? Well, is that? That's pretty fresh, I'll tell you that. Look good to me. That'll do it. That's enough. Plenty. We're just, we're just going to cook a couple of dishes today. Okay, sir. You got it. All right. Thanks, Dodo. Boy, look at these squid, folks. This is absolutely fantastic. We're going to take these home, and I'm going to show you how to cook them today. They'll be absolutely delicious. The wharf has got to be one of the most exciting places in the world for me. I tell you, any place I go and I travel, I always head for the ocean or head for the wharves. There's a lot of action always going on. Now, I want you to take a look at these squid. I mean, these are very fresh. Now, this is just the beginning of the season here in Monterey, so they're a little on the small side. They will get bigger than this. Now, these are probably about 10 to a pound. Ideally, we like to get them at our restaurant about six to a pound. Now, one of my restaurants, and I have four of them, specializes in calamari or squid. A lot of people, you recognize this as bait. <laughs> but Monterey, we eat them. At Abolonetti, which is one of the restaurants, I use 40 tons a year. So, you know, everyone can't be wrong about squid, folks. I mean, it may look a little weird, but I'll tell you, the taste is very, very, very good. Now, you can buy these all over the country now, all clean, ready to use. But if you're lucky enough to get some that is real fresh like this, I'll show you how to clean it. Very easy, very, very easy. Look, you grab the wings, you hold it, you hold the body, and you just pull just like that you see how that just cleans off now sometimes if this was out of, if this was um, a little not as fresh it'd be easier to clean because it'll have a tendency to the skin will have a tendency to to uh, peel a lot easier but it's a little difficult when it's real fresh okay so what I'm doing we pull the head apart now in the middle is what is called a quill which looks like, this is the backbone. Now this looks like a piece of plastic. And it feels like a piece of plastic. It's called the pin or the quill. Discard that with the knife. With the knife, you just get it and push. Okay, and what we've pushed out are the innards, okay? Some people eat that. Squid is one of those things you could practically eat the whole thing. Okay, now we've ended up See, that's all clean inside now. We've got a tube. Now, let's go to the head. You gotta cut right between the eyes because you wanna get the, the, um, the beak at the same time. So, or wait a minute, no, you, let, let me show you another way. Okay, you cut the head right behind the eyes. Now push. Now you see this coming out? That's the mouth right there, okay? So now you've got squid head ready to cook. You've got either a tube. Now, if I wanted to do something different, and the way we're gonna use it today is I'm gonna cut it into rings, okay? If I wanted to cut it into steaks, I'd cut it this way, open it up, and you'd have steaks. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a squid salad, which is very, very easy, and we're gonna use the rings and the tentacles. Now this is what it should look like after you've gone through and cleaned them all, okay? Right? Here's the heads, make sure you take that mouth out of there because it'll be a little crunchy, it won't hurt you, but it'll be a little crunchy. Okay, this is what it looks like, boiling water. You have to put a little salt in it. Okay, we got hot boiling water. Now this cooks so fast, you won't believe it. Now you gotta remember something about squid, folks. Squid, you either cook it fast or you cook it for a long time. I like to cook it quickly. If you go beyond the point of cooking this fast, what's gonna happen, it's gonna get like a rubber band. You're gonna be chewing on rubber. And the biggest complaint you hear about squid is that it's tough. And it's tough because they've overcooked it. See, you go beyond that, this is gonna be done in about two minutes, three minutes, it will be done. While we're talking, this will be cooked. 
Now, the dressing, very important that you use a good vinegar. I like, you can use a white vinegar, but you gotta use a nice, strong vinegar. I'm using a red wine vinegar, okay? And I like to use fresh garlic, and I would use fresh garlic. Do not use the, the powdered stuff unless you can't find fresh garlic, but and I'll show you a little secret about, about the garlic. Just give it a good slap like this, and it usually will, not supposed to fly around. Okay, just smash it, cut it up like this, and we're gonna make a little dressing where we're gonna add a little mustard. Now, I know this doesn't sound very Italian, but you know, south of France, this is their style there, and I think it's just delicious. So I've always included it when we make it at, at our restaurant, and I uh, continue to do that. So always put your mustard with your vinegar, otherwise you'll stay suspended if you keep it in the oil. Okay, break down the mustard so it's nice. Okay, now let's add our garlic. And I've got some fresh thyme. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Oh, fresh thyme is absolutely. Garlic, uh, just to remind, maybe about, I don't know, what's that look like, a couple tablespoons? Okay, let's do a little bit of thyme, just a little bit. We don't want too much. Now, next I'm gonna put, these are capers. Okay, now these, we've done them ourselves. I have them in my yard and we take them off the bush and we salt them. Now, I understand you can buy salted capers. Normally, you buy the ones that have been preserved in um, vinegar, but these have a delicious flavor. So we're gonna put a little extra because I like these. Okay, chop it up a little bit. We'll put a little of this. Now let's put, I got a little bit of onion. Caper, I'd say another two tablespoons. Okay, onion, what is it? Just a, this is just for flavor. Now these are sweet onions. These are those beautiful onions coming out of Texas right now. They're sweet, you almost can eat them like an apple. Okay, we'll put a little bit of onion in there. A couple tablespoons of that also. Okay, now I want to put some parsley. Now, let me explain something about parsley to you. Flat leaf parsley, Italian flat leaf parsley is becoming more and more available because it has more flavor. The curly stuff never had much flavor to it. It was always used as a garnish. This actually has flavor, okay? Chop off a chunk. Let's say that's a handful, isn't it? Okay, let's check this. We don't want to overcook them. Okay, time to pull them off. Okay, what was that? Was that about a minute and a half, two minutes? Take it to the colander. Okay, that's done. That's off. We'll let that just drain a little bit. Okay, we got this going. Now we're gonna put a little parsley. Now this has been washed ahead of time. Sometimes it may be a little sandy, so make sure you wash it. Okay. Boy, if you could smell this, it's just delicious. Okay, throw that in there. Now, lemon. Now, do you see the seeds? This is what I do, folks. Look at that. Now, if any seeds come out, I usually catch them. That makes it real easy. So we're adding both vinegar and lemon. All right, next, a little bit of chopped olive. Now I'm using real olives. I'm not using those, excuse the expression, black olives that have no flavor that the kids like and they usually put them on their finger and they run around the house. Okay, these are Kalamata olives. They have flavor, okay? These, you can find these in most, most any store nowadays, all right? What I've done is pitted them, okay? And we're gonna coarse chop them also. Real easy so far, right? All stuff that you have in the house, or most of us, at least Italians or Mediterraneans will have the stuff in the house. Okay, then I got some chopped tomato. We're gonna add that mostly for color. Okay, then I'm gonna add some olive oil. Now, 
When I cook, I, I like to use a virgin olive oil. This is an extra virgin. Now, we pack this ourselves, like I said. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. I don't know, we're, we're gonna go maybe a third, a third more. We want this to be a little juicy because, you know, Italians like to dip the bread in here, folks. And it makes it good. Now you taste it. Uh-oh. We need a little bit of salt. That's a good pinch. Okay. Let's taste it one more time. Some pepper. Another shot of olive oil. Just a little bit more. Okay, it looks good enough already. Can make a salad out of that. Okay, here's our squid. Goes right in. Make sure you drain it well. You don't want to dilute your uh, dilute your uh, dressing. I'll just stir that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Give you a good shot of that. Isn't that isn't that gorgeous? You see? I mean, hey, every Italian restaurant in the United States has calamari of some kind on the menu. Calamari fritti. Not, you don't see salad very much. Uh, we'll put it in a nice, beautiful bowl. Spread it out. Now, if you let, put this in the refrigerator, leave it out, let it marinate for maybe an hour or two, it even gets better. Tomorrow, it'll even be better. You'll end up eating this for breakfast. Okay, let's, let's try a piece. First, I'll try the body. Mmm, melts in your mouth. Mmm. Perfect balance. Now, the heads, you gotta chew them fast. One of these things get wrapped around your teeth, you might have a problem. So, chew it, mm, see the crunch? A little time, I'm gonna show you another quick recipe. Now we've got our squids, okay? There's a tube. I'm gonna open it up real quick, just like that. And we're gonna cut in strips. All right, so you get all these guys and just cut them in all chunks like that, all right? Now, because I'm going quickly, see this? These are gonna look real nice on the plate with all the nice things we're gonna put in it. And basically, we're gonna just saute this, and we're gonna want some of that garlic to come out nice and brown, so we're gonna put some of that stuff in there too. Okay, done. Now, we got this, this is going, okay. Let's add with a little olive oil. Let me put you over on the other side. You can see better. Okay, move this out of the way. And let me get this so you can see what we're doing. Okay, we got the pan going. Olive oil, and like I said, I like to use my olive oil. Now we're gonna need some of this. This is garlic. And watch the garlic, it has a tendency to fly on you. Okay, smash, smash. Just add a little bit more garlic. You know what they say about garlic? Good for the blood pressure. Good for the stomach. Not good for the breath. But if you cook it, it takes it away. Now see how the fastest gets hot? Okay, ooh, that's enough garlic. Everyone's gonna cringe. Well, we love garlic, especially in California. You know, they have a garlic festival close by to Monterey every year, and they even have garlic ice cream. That's right. Okay, real hot. Okay, garlic. Now we're gonna, one handful, onion. Two handful, onion. A little bit more. Okay, stir like this. I want this to get a little brown. Okay, we're gonna add the same ingredients, but we're gonna fry it. How's that? This is gonna give you a whole nother dish. Now you could add bell pepper to this, would be delicious. But I'm just gonna do, it's real simple. You know, cooking doesn't have to be complicated. People make it complicated. Good cooking is real simple. Remember, they started on a campfire. That's how it all started. Okay, chop that. This is ready now. You want to make sure, see how this is browning real quick? Okay, so we'll stir. Pretty easy. Go a little pepper. 
Fresh ground pepper is delicious. Make sure you use it. Little crushed red pepper, very good. Okay, here we go. Bell pepper, I'm putting a cup, a good cup and a half. Different colored bell pepper, you can use whatever kind you like. You gotta keep this oil hot, folks. It absorbs a little bit too much, it's gonna brown, put a little bit more oil. Fresh basil, look at this. Chop it coarsely, no problem. Now remember what we said about the squid, we're gonna cook it very quickly. I want this to get good and hot. It's going great, fresh thyme, chop it a little bit. That's a good tablespoon. Inside, flip. Terrific. Boy, the smell's coming out of here. Okay, now, squid heads. All clean, ready to go. Now, the trick of sauteing is you don't want that temperature to drop. You have a little bit at a time. Okay, flip, 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 flip. Sauteed, jump in French, remember. Squid bodies. This is gonna be terrific over pasta, like I said. Or whatever, rice would be great. Spread it out a little bit. Now, as the squid cooks, you gotta remember, it's gonna swell. Hot pepper, extra because I like hot pepper. You know what they say about hot pepper? It releases endorphins in your body, makes you feel good. That's why people like to eat hot food. Good theory. Also like to eat chocolate for the same reason. Makes you feel good inside. Okay, see how nice this is going? Looking good. I'm gonna cook this just a little bit more. See that? See how fast that's cooking? Maybe a little lemon juice, just a little bit of lemon juice. Just a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna add a little bit of wine. Just a drop of nice California wine. Yes, see this? Just a little bit. Okay, just to moisten it, cook that off. See, this is, a, this is a dish when you come home and you're starving, you don't know what to eat, and you just happen to have some squid in your refrigerator, and say, you know what? I can go for some nice, fast, sauteed squid. Okay, fresh tomatoes. It's gonna add that nice color. A little bit of tomato. We don't want, we don't want the tomato to dissolve. We just want the tomato to soften up a bit. Okay, because this dish is gonna be cooked when the squid is cooked. And if the vegetables are crunchy, no problem. Okay, salt, nice pinch. Boy, I smell that wine. Look how pretty this looks. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're ready. Get our plate ready. Clean this up one little bit first. And we got our plate, this is gonna be Ready to go. Nice, colorful plate. Let me taste it. Not bad. Let's add a little bit more hot pepper because it's good for you. Look at this. Okay, look, see this is just, you see how fast that takes? I mean, we're talking minutes. Okay, pour it in there. Turn your gas off. Spread it out. Now, let's pick one of these up. Don't do this unless you're really used to it. You might burn your lips off. Not good. Mmm, tender. I mean, tender squid. Look at that. See how that breaks? That means it's tender. Mmm, spice comes through. Very, very, very good. Delicious. 